All right, let's talk some more stock news. Kenny Horn joins us for the developing story, and we're looking at healthcare. Cigna, uh, trimming up its business model, Jenny. Uh, how much this is about M&A potential lingering? So they did mention they are interested in some smaller acquisitions potentially this year and about $10 billion in buybacks. So this is like fitting their narrative. We heard from them on their last earnings call. Although still, I'd say even though we have like haven't had confirmation, I'm always very hesitant when it's like reports. But they are in advanced talks to sell their Medicare business. And this would then help. I mean, what seen is helping them in this expanding a fast growing sector. So it's seen as actually, I think, pretty much a win. I know shares are lower today, but they're now in exclusive talks to sell it to Healthcare Services Corp for between around three to four billion, according to those familiar with the matter, which is again why I say it's still at this point to me fairly speculative, but it would be a pretty major expansion for HSCSC, which is a big nonprofit health insurer. But more importantly than that, Medicare for all of the companies exposed is a pretty lucrative business. I mean, about half of Medicare beneficiaries are enrolled in various plans, even though, of course, that is more federally funded. It is something that still benefits a name like Cigna, for example. They actually, at the end of last year, had approximately 600,000 Medicare Advantage members. That's through the end of September, which is their fiscal year. The business had about $8 billion in revenue back in 2022, and it's sizable, but Cigna has recently been expanding with a pretty massive scale because they do lack like a great competitor, United Health, for example, which has about 7.6 million members, and Humana, which has around 5.9 million members. So all in all, I think that this is just a way for them to boost their cash for potential other acquisitions, at least as far as their last earnings call went, because it definitely seems like something they're interested in. I don't think this necessarily means they're like offloading different parts of their business. To me, it seems like they're trying to find more lucrative aspects of the healthcare world. Sure. Yeah, I get that. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think the market's okay with that, especially because they're going to get a couple bill mm -hmm. for it, uh, according to the report. So that seems like it can help uh, in mm -hmm. whatever sort of growth avenue they want to pursue. But in these businesses, these kind of the... Uh, uh, old, steady, moving insurance businesses. There's often not a lot of big growth. So trimming things up and finding uh, better margins is kind of a way to juice the story a little bit. They're also fairly government exposed. So yeah. like, it, I mean, it's not as much as I, I like choose not to get into that whole world. I do think there's like major bills that could be passed by the current administration sure. where like we've seen some of these lists of long lists of the most expensive, most common drugs are expected to be reduced in cost federally. That would have a great impact on these various companies. All right, good stuff. Nice. Thanks for the heads up.